opening statement, uh, and then we'll proceed with uh, questions from there. Yeah, uh, switch, obviously, switch. you know, a heck of a football team we just played. You know, I just told the kids how proud I am of the, uh, you know, the season that we had. Um, you know, coming off of last year, which was a tough year for us, and you know, got a little emotional out on the field because I'm, I'm sad that it has to come to an end. Um, I'm sad for. Our, 26 seniors that they just played their last college football game. But at the end of the day, very proud and happy of uh, these guys and what we've done as a program and, um, you know, going 10 and 0 up until this game and winning a conference championship and that they can never, you know, take away from, from these guys. Open up for questions for Coach McCarty or for either of the student athletes. Coach, how hard is it for your offense when they take away your running game, you know, and stop that and kind of make it more one dimensional? How, how how hard is that for for your offense? Yeah, you know, obviously we we want to run the football, and um, you know we need to execute in, in that phase of the game, and you know until you watch the film, you just never know exactly what happened, and um, you know, but I just. Uh, you know, a little disappointed that we didn't execute and consistency. You know, that was uh, the big message at half is, you know, lack of consistency. And again, um, you know, we stress controlling the things that are controllable and jumping off sides and false starts and turning the ball over. Um, you know, those, those things kill you. You know, we've had a great year, you know, and led the country in turnover margin. And, Today, I don't know what the final numbers were, but it wasn't in our favor. So, uh, but hats off to Whitewater. They're a heck of a football team and, um, you know, played a great game and they were consistent. Coach, you tried a couple of trick plays between the fake punt and a few other things. Uh, were those based on the situation in the game or did you have some of these things lined up ahead of time? Yeah, we, we had things lined up, and you know, a lot of this stuff, and these guys will tell you, it's, it's been in the entire year. We just haven't used a lot of them. You know, the fake punt, if there's one thing I'm disappointed in in the game is, is the fake punt. I run the punt team. Um, you know, we, we made an adjustment at halftime. Uh, you know, uh, we, didn't, we didn't trap the guy we were supposed to trap, and there was obviously a communication breakdown, and, you know, that's a little disappointing. Um, you know, but yeah, we, we've had him in all year and, you know, decided to throw it all out there and at the end of the day, um, not have any regrets. Jack, was it hard throwing the ball into the wind, you know, when you're, when you're going the, that way? It looked like neither team didn't, they they was do a whole lot of passing into that wind. A uh, little bit. I don't think it affected it that much. But, I mean, the wind and the snow, you can say it was a factor, but it's football. You got to play football in that condition. and. Fortunately, today was like that, so move on from it. What, uh, the question I asked your coach about you know, shutting down your running game, and obviously Elijah got hurt too. Um, what, once you had to pass them behind him, it looked like they really you know, pinned their ears back. It makes it tough too, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they uh, they did a lot of stuff up front. They had some good twists, and I mean, we have a heck of an old line, and they did a great job all year. And Whitewater brought some things, some blitzes, and you know, we, uh, we just got to pick those up, and I got to make better throws and better reads. Obviously, you mentioned you know weather is just part of the game that you have to deal with, but it's been pretty mild around here um, all season. Is there an adjustment when you're in that first cold game or that first snowy game? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, first snow game. I mean, we've only played one rain game all year, and we adjusted well. And the snow. I've never played in the snow before, but it's just like the rain and the wind. I mean, we've had a couple windy games, but you definitely adjust the first drive you throw. You put some more on it, take a little off. You're on with the wind, so. Alec, does the weather affect the defensive game plan? Uh, not too much. Uh, we knew that, you know, because because of the snow and the wind a little bit, you know, they were going to try and run the ball on us a little bit more. Uh, you know, we, going into it, we thought they were going to try and pop the rock too. So, uh, not too much. How hard is uh, Alec? How hard is Ratliff to stop once he gets ahead of steam going? Yeah, he's a he's a good back. He's uh, he's definitely hard to stop once he gets a good head of steam. Uh, he's he's a big big kid. 
and uh, he runs real hard. So, yeah, once he gets to the second level, it's uh, it's pretty hard to take him down. So. They, uh, you know, you used to coach, they, they were able to, uh, I don't think, think Nelson and Ratliff even played in the second half. Um, that's a luxury you don't get very often. Um, does it j just show you that, that the kind of depth that they have, that they can, and, and even in the first half, they were like subbing out the quarterback a couple of times in the running back. Is, is their offensive depth kind of impressive to you? Well, I think they, they've always had that depth. You know, uh, that's, that's what you do when, you know, you, you've had have an established program and years of success in recruiting, and um, you know it, it's kind of always been what Whitewater does. It's the next guy up and plug him in, and away they go. So it didn't surprise me.